Welcome to the newly renovated library of the Jewish Theological Seminary. The JTS Library houses one of the greatest collections of rare Judaica in the entire world, providing the Jewish community and the rest of the world with direct access to an astonishing array of materials that speak to Jewish history and to our shared Jewish experience. Hi, I'm David Kramer, director of the library here at the Jewish Theological Seminary and professor. Uh, and today we are in the Dorothy Tapper Goldman Exhibition Gallery exploring pieces on display in our special inaugural exhibit to build a new home celebrating the Jewish wedding. What I'd like to share with you here is this work, a Karite Ketuba. Uh, Ketubah is, of course, a Jewish marriage contract. You may be less familiar with the term Karite. The Karites were, and there are still a few around, are Jews who rejected rabbinic authority and insisted on following biblical authority and command alone. Uh, they were once quite numerous. The evidence, for example, of the Cairo Geniza of the medieval world in North Africa was that they were perhaps as many Karaites as there were rabbinic Jews, but their numbers diminished. Uh, and in later years, they came to be restricted to smaller communities. Though at this time, the time of this Ketuba, um, they were still quite numerous in the Crimea, uh, and in this case, in Ukraine. Uh, the Ketuba has some very bold and distinctive features. This Ketuba, is really quite an outstanding specimen. On the one hand, it is very much influenced by rabbinic practice, despite the claim of Karaites uh, that they resist rabbinic tradition. So if you look at the text of the Ketubah, you'll find that many of its clauses follow quite directly the clauses that you would find in a typical Jewish, that is to say, rabbinic Ketubah. Uh, but if you look a little bit more closely, you'll find that the entirety of the Ketubah text is expressed in Hebrew. Mm -hmm. This was their way, symbolically, of saying we are biblical Jews and not rabbinic Jews. So in the clauses of the Ketubah, you've got a custom of what is on the one hand influenced by the rabbis, but a bold statement saying we, Karite Jews, are not them. The two columns here are not altogether unusual, but in this case, it's worth noting them. The text of the Ketubah is on the right, and on the left, we've got the dowry. It's a long list of items and their worth that are being brought into this marriage from the bride and the bride's family for collective ownership uh, by bride and groom, by husband and wife. What I particularly love about this ketubah, in addition to its bold statement of who we are and we are not them, uh, in addition to the beautiful architecture, which is clearly influenced by Islamic sources, showing the intercultural quality of the life of Karaites. I love the fact that this ketubah comes from Ukraine, 1769. By this time, Karaites were a smaller community that had come to be located primarily in the Crimea, in the region of the Black Sea and Ukraine. Uh, and there they found themselves side by side with the earliest of Hasidic Jews, with Jews who oriented to, made their lives around the yeshiva. Uh, the great grandparents, however many generations, of many of us who came to relocate on the shores of the United States and make our home here today. Uh, our ancestors were very diverse. The communities in which they lived, the Jewish communities, were diverse and rich, and they learned from one another. Karaites are no longer around much. There are only a few hundred left in Jerusalem, but it's worth our recalling the history of an earlier Jewish community where Rabbinites and Karaites and Hasidim and Mitnagdim, all kinds of Jews, live together in the same great region of the world.